It's human nature to feel safe at home, sheltered from danger. But human homes can also be havens for other species seeking shelter or an easy meal. They can enter through cracks too difficult to seal, like gaps beneath doors, slits in siding and utility vents. And once inside, they set off to find suitable hunting grounds. But what they think of as suitable, inside shoes, among gardening equipment, or under bed sheets, puts them in close proximity to humans. Bites are often painless and go undetected until the wound sets in. This is a brown recluse spider. Every year, they bite thousands of unsuspecting victims. Rooted in the American heartland, they range from Iowa, south to Louisiana, west to Kansas, and east to Georgia. The brown recluse is often distinguished by the dark violin-shaped marking found on its back. It's resilient, capable of withstanding freezing winters in unheated basements, and stifling summers in attics, and it can survive for months without food or water. Most spiders use webs to capture their prey, but the brown recluse uses stealth, lying in wait for insects to wander by. With a quick bite, it delivers a venomous cocktail of proteins and enzymes that degrade the prey for easy digestion. Spiders are great exterminators, eating roughly 2,000 insects a year in and around the home. Because the brown recluse spider seldom moves, most bites to humans are the result of accidental contact rather than deliberate attack. But the damage caused is the same. The bites are usually painless. Most victims don't even realize they've been bitten until three to eight hours later, when the site becomes red, swollen, and tender. The majority of bites heal within three weeks, but some develop into necrotic lesions. As the venom continues to destroy tissue, the wound can expand by several centimeters over a period of days or weeks. Some ulcers can persist for months and leave deep scarring. The bites can cause fever, chills, rash, dizziness, and vomiting. And in rare cases, they can also be fatal, especially in children and the elderly. <laughs> 